What is up you guys and welcome to the other session that uh, I've talked about with Hale. Like I said, I might upload these on the same days due to showcasing the difference between them. But a short rundown here. As you guys see already, there are a few Pokemon here that uh, are very interesting. Uh, Aurora's the same set. Uh, it's also an Icy Rock team here with, of course, Stealth Rocks and whatnot. The, the big difference here is Alolan Sand Slash, who solves the Aurora Wheel situation, which, uh, of course, was put on uh, Articuno last time. Now, this basically means that it's... it's purpose of this team is go for Earthquake, Osgo Crash, Rapid Spin, a little spin. You could use the Rapid Spin and switch that for Sword Stance, so I don't see the purpose of that, because the, the man of the of the video is Beartic. Uh, Sword Stance, Osgo Crash, Super Power, and Aqua Jet, you really want to have priority here, particularly with the Fight UMC. Mainly here, any Steel type want to come in versus you are going to regret it. Uh, then we got Kling Clang. Uh, Kling Clang is uh, one of those Pokemon that in Veil does very well. So we have Shift Gear, we have Magnet Rise to be able to ensure that the only thing that hurts you are possible fire types and uh, fighting types, of course. Um, so with Sawtu, Magnet Pounds, you have to be able to take everything away, every pressure here, no stealth rocks. It definitely should be stated here that Sawtu, while solving the issue of Magnet Bouncing, make sure that no rocks comes on the field. It's more of a response towards the opposing team that this Pokemon is going to do this. Are you ready to set up rocks towards me when I have a saw to? It's not going to be every time. You, it's not going to be an overall response every game, but it's there, and that's the that's the most important part. Last part is Jelly Sand. We are extremely weak to fire. Uh, Jelly Sand is one of the best Pokemon to resolve that issue, and we're extremely weak to fighting. So saw to and Jelly Sand, their primary issue is making sure that while Fighting types is an issue, we still could resolve that or face them. Colbert Berry is here to actually be able to take a possible knockoff or deal with Incineroar. Incineroar eats this team very well. So if I see an Incineroar, I in theory lose. Hopefully, it's not a scarf set. If it's not, then you know we can possibly lose it. Oh, sorry about that. But yeah, anyway, let's go into the game. Now, just because I said that this team is by default better, it won't mean that it is better. Uh, we're also gonna, of course, have some music. I haven't resolved the music issue, uh, by the way. So, I'm sorry if it's loud still. Uh, I tried to balance it out, but it haven't worked as well as I hoped for. But, um, you guys told me you heard me fine, so that's good. That's good indeed. So, we, yeah, I'm searching for the battle. Now, this shouldn't be a stated here too okay. <sighs> Like, sorry about the... But this is a tough team. Hitmontop actually does well here. Now, Shuckle is good. Because Shuckle means that it it makes for a decent lead. Um, all I really need myself is actually get up rocks. Uh, or I don't need rocks necessarily. Uh, I have a good opportunity of setting up early. So, um, what would he lead off with? Um, Mesprit makes sense. Roto makes sense. I'm actually gonna lead up with Zato, mainly because I do want. Um, if Shuckle is his lead, I kind of want to throw it on, or throw it on, I want to throw it off, and force him out. And uh, I do believe Zato does heavy amount of damage towards his whole team, outside of possibly the Mesprit, who can take a few hits. Gustlor, depending on the set, could also it actually deals well with it. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to switch. It fix a thing here, because we have Giga Drain, should have Ear Slash. It's the stronger filler move, even though I prefer Psy Shock, but we see that mod like, yeah, that's going to be a thing. Now, Blazing Nova has yet to start, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, the team structure should be giving away that it's a hail team. You, you want to see both Sans Slash and Beatty, you're gonna, alright, alright, this is what it's all about. Uh, one thing that should be said about the, both Beatic and the Lord Sandlet is that they can form, uh, with Life Orb, they can form a special set. Uh, it's unconventional. Uh, it's very unconventional, but definitely Beatic has a very, very broad special move pool and has actually 70 special attack. So Life Orb variant would not be out of the question. Uh, with Focus Blast and Blizzard standing out, first of all, of course, and then has a few other filler moves. It makes for a really weird Pokemon. Uh, so it leads off with that. Of course it does. Uh, <laughs> why? 
Why would you do that? Why would you be the smarter player here? I thought I was going to resolve that. Um, so we can Volt Switch freely, which is always going to be an issue here with these type of teams. This is why I kind of want Peelus one. Uh, so I can go directly for Aurorus. As you go for Volt Switch, that's a safer play as... Uh... Oh, wait. We are not Refrigerate, are we? Nope. There's no warning. How could I miss that? Alright. We're gonna be smarter. I don't know how this team works. This is not gonna work at all for me. Uh, holy fucking shit. This is bad. This is basically Zatsu's match. There we go. Back to Mesprit. That actually works for me. We can go for a Shadow Ball here. It goes for Knockoff. That's not gonna hurt us all too much. As Shadow Ball should do a decent chunk. Has leftovers. I want to say the next play here is uh, Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go for Recover anyway because I can. No, wait. Yeah, I still got to do Recover. <laughs> so we're having a Hail team without Hail. That's going to be very, 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 very boring. I am not ready for this. <laughs> it's the right though, it's my mistake. Come on, Blazing Nova. Yeah, do the weird play. I love that. Be weird. As my seared definitely I think my next play here is Wash Will O Wisp. Because that will shut him down. Uh, right, switches out to Rodum. And I miss, because why not? Uh, he can still volt switch here. We could take one of those hits, but I think I think I'm better off actually going for a weird sack player. I kind of want him to be um, in an ideal world. This Pokemon would be um, oh, what do you call it? Um, a Trick Room variant of it. So with that in mind, Aurora is going to be the most useless Pokemon of the bunch. Or actually, you know, we have to steal rocks. Let's see, we see Will O Wisp. That's good. That's what you want to see. So the follow play here should be Leaf Storm. Good that we know this is speedy. Alright, show me Leaf Storm. There we go. We're gonna actually eat that up. So now he's no longer a threat towards us. So we can go directly for an Ice Cold Crash and hurt something. Hitmontop could be his switch. He actually stays in. It's insane. Okay. <laughs> the man is not right. <laughs> so as you guys saw there, it was actually a lot better than it is that it was a defensive variant here. Um Hitmontop must be the switching. Um would make no sense anything else here as Jellison gonna be the exact response is always going to be this matchup. So <clears throat> my honest opinion is that yeah. He should see the Aurorus, or I mean Yellison coming again. Uh, goes for Rock Slide, and that won't dent us at all. As uh, his overall best response now should be to sack Rotom. So we're just going to go for Shadow Ball directly. Uh, yeah, precisely. I'm not going to give him that opening. I don't see the point of it. As now, of course, the Alolan Raichu should come in. Is it that of Gustlord? If it brings to Gustlord, that's going to be just so much fun. I'm fighting something I can't predict at all, and that's infuriating. I am making, like, without the hail, what are my mons, right? Without the extra defenses, they are just punching bags. And he is the one that is a fighter, so... Yeah. Hey, did not see you coming at all. Um, what I want you to do is a Volt Switch, please. Thunderbolt, that actually works better, I think. Um, I have lied before. How much did a Volt Switch do from the first switch? Let's see. Right, Volt Switch towards goes to Hitmon top. Yeah, it didn't do a whole lot. Um, he could be Z Focus Blast. That's a gamble I want to take. I want my rocks up.
I'm making a gamble of my lifetime. Alright, he doesn't have it. That's good. Hitman's up is gonna come in again. And um, we're gonna get our rocks up. And there is no way of him actually getting rid of them. This is good. This is good. This is really good. As um, their smart man says. Nope. I still gotta go jelly -sent. I still gotta do it. It's boring, but it's the response I have. Um, and he's gonna go back to the um, right you, and that's quite right. I'm gonna get myself some recovery, Mitch. The good thing about this team is that it's not built with offensive momentum in mind, which makes my team decent because it's speedier than most of his mods. I like that. I think that's that made this game a lot more interesting than I ever would imagine. So if my team is wrong, his structure is not built to be dealing with something that are supposed to be slow, but are faster anyway. Um, so Raichu comes in, no Mesprits. And we already say that we don't fear Mesprits, since the knockoff did not do too much damage towards us. So what I can do is go for a Will-O-Wisp, as he goes for his rocks on his own, and that's freaking alright, if I had to say something myself. And uh, yeah, we should just go for the possible KO. We're definitely gonna go for Shadow Balls here, as Shadow Ball do negligible damage towards us. And uh, from the looks of it, we'll definitely KO him next turn. Um, now here's the thing. I have a very good opportunity here of doing something very nice. And that is since... Sure, he has knockoff, he has Psyche, he has Stealth Rock, right? But... One thing it can't do is uh, stop me setting up, because we already know this physical. So I'm gonna actually sack my Auroras here, I'm gonna fall to the burn and rocks and whatnot. Uh, and that's quite right, because we're gonna get an opening of our lifetime. And we're gonna take it. We have to take it. Like, there is no way I'm gonna get this opening again. So shift gear it is, I really hope it goes for knockoff and actually be completely clueless of what's going on. Or it goes to hit on top and make my day a lot worse. Uh, clear body will save us for some damage, but not all of it. Uh, it looks like he stays in and possibly go for a U-turn. No, it goes for knockoff. So that's okay. Um, because we can just keep going at it. We have no reason of actually switching out. There is... Send head buff will not help you, buddy. The thing is here, if I'm falling below 50, I should probably think about whether or not um, <laughs> the Hitman top has uh, uh, Mag Punch. That's always going to be a thing. But I think at plus 3, I should be fine versus everything. And of course, being able to outspeed everything to see, which is not going to matter at all. Um, he is thinking hard, though. He is thinking hard. Uh, the thing is here, at this point, I do believe that um, as long as I KO the stuff that matters, such as Raichu and whatnot, I should be fine. Hitman top is a possible threat here. Uh, I don't know how much punishment a Gustler possibly take either. Uh, the only thing I know is that Icicle Crash towards my bear take will make his day a lot longer than it's supposed to. Um, yeah, I think I will brought it down. Sem Headbutt and knock off Stealth Rock. Alright. I wonder if the last move is U-turn. You know, for playing as much NU as I do, I don't know too much about Mesprit. I, have, I don't use it myself, I find it infuriating to use. For me, you know, Stealth Rocks and whatnot, I really want that job to something else. Mesprit seems to be a Pokemon that can do a lot more than just setting up rocks. But I always see the defensive role, even though it's so balanced, but it, it lacks the peaking. I uh, always talk about the peaking stats, but what I mean by that is that I really like when Pokemons are... Um, oh, what do you say? When Pokemon have stats that are very good at certain things, I definitely believe Mesprit are missing that. Uh, it doesn't make it a bad Pokemon, though. That's the worst part about it. Uh, it just makes it... Um, what do you say? Other Psyche types does better at the roles I want a Psyche type to have. Now, this guy is close to a forfeit loss here if he doesn't make up his mind. Uh, he has only 30 seconds left. 20 seconds left, alright. That was, there was no 30 seconds in there. 
Look, I'll take the forfeit loss, but I really don't want to lose like this. I want my Clan Clan to really showcase what it's all about, even without the Veil. But yeah, I don't know what it's going to do. Come on, man. Don't do this. <sighs> that sucks. Alright, we, we take the win, but it's it's a boring win. Alright. Next match will be with Hail, though. That's going to be interesting. Was it? Yes, no warning. Nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I would want that game, though. I think plus three will resolve any possible issue. Boring possible misses. This is Trick Room. This is not good. I don't want to see Munchlax. Come on. Oh, it's not Trick Room. We have Tauros there. Why would it be Trick Room? Uh, Sableye is annoying. Every mon is annoying. I don't know why I'm trying to try to enforce it. We're going to start with Star 2 because it's annoying as all hell. As we see a Sableye start. Um, I'm going to go directly for a U-turn because it's only... Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm predicting the knockoff. I'm predicting the knockoff. And I don't care. Actually, I can do. Uh, let's see. Let's send in the Auroras. We're going to get the turns first before knockoff is going off. And we're going to get our Stealth Rocks up. And we should be just peachy. <laughs> His best switching would be my Chomper. No, Munch lags is also a thing. Oh dear god, I don't like you. Um, sending in Beatik directly. Let's see, we see Curse. That's alright. Uh, I want to scare him off with Sword Stance. There we go. Goes directly for the Sable Eye. Um, I can go for another one because he's gonna go for a Will O Wisp. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's see, he goes for knockoff actually. That's even better. As we have three turns of hail, Ice Will Crash should actually KO here. Goes for Willow, and it's a fair Willow. Pretty sure we're pretty surprised it didn't do that before. Um to get two turns of hell. We get an opening that's from hell though. As he this guy could have bullet punch. That's a risk I'm willing to take. It's not gonna go for all our pummeling. Bullet punch, yeah, that's not gonna hurt us all too much, as this should do a decent chunk. Even a plus one. Oh yes! Choke on it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> alright, alright, we're game. We're game. We still lose to uh, the Munchlax, though, so that's always going to be a thing. As uh, most likely it's going to switch out now anyway, go back to the Munchlax. So, yeah, I should go to Beartick. Okay. Let's see if it's Scarf or not. It is not. Let's see, Thunderbolt, and that should KO. Go to Aurora's. And uh, yeah, go for Blizzard. Gonna KO, of course we are. Then Munchlax comes in. I mean, without Beartick, Munchlax is. Impossible to KO, I would say. Uh, actually, goes to Tauros. I should sack play it anyway. Rock slide, right? That should KO. Nice. I get my veil up. Come on, man. Earthquake, yeah, that's not gonna work. This game is chugging a little bit, so sorry about that. If you guys are seeing anything of it, seeing this gonna KO? No, it's not. We're gonna flinch because the game is just so generous. 
I really wish I had... Um... This is gonna be the worst part about this game, actually. Um... I should die here no matter what, so I just go for ice cold and seconds. But Munchlax is going to be the number one response overall. Goes for Psycho Cut. No idea what's up there. Um... Or he's just stalling out the Veil turns, I guess. Yeah, I think so. He's Scarfed. He's definitely Scarfed. Of course he is. And now the Reign of Mo. He's not gonna try it even. He's not even gonna try it. I was really sure that he was going to try to go for the Curse Lags of Reign. But the thing with Curse Lags is that you usually have the Whirlwind and whatnot. I could just do the really boring game and actually go for... Um, oh, what do you say? Um, Kling Clang Clang. He could not KO Kling Clang with Munchlag. There is no way he would pull that off. Uh, and I can just go for Gear Grinds and whatnot. So if it had a Whirlwind Toxic set with uh, possible Return and Curse, it's not going to work. And the same with Curse variant of it. Uh, curse Rest Talk, that is. That would not have worked either. So, one more game. I'm glad it worked this time. Beatic really showing what it's all about. And Sableye. Fuck that, Mon. I, that's a boring Pokemon to be dealing with. Bitic just overall, like, if you get that Pokemon get a free turn, it's, it's game. That Pokemon freaking open up like a womb. Like a womb? Really? Yeah, I'm burst. That's, I've said weird stuff. <laughs> okay. This, this team does do not like ice. That's good. I like that. Um, trying to see possible issues, uh, First that comes to mind is uh, Seismitoad and Rotom are not friends with me. Um, let's see, Seismitoad would be his start off Pokemon here, right? Delayed, actually. That works too. I can just go for Air Slash directly. Uh, goes for Knockoff. Okay. So it's Scarfed. It is Scarfed. That's really bad, actually. I can get off my rocks, at least. Um, oh, I did not see that one coming. That was dumb. So Seismitoad is his number one response there. Luckily, we already know we can switch up moves. Uh, and I'm gonna get my stealth rocks up, and I think his best overall switching would be Delphox here. Um, actually, rolled them. I wonder. I'm gonna bring Sand Slash, predicting the Leaf Storm. There we go. Um, that's actually quite alright as we go for the Icicle Crash here. Oh, he stayed in. I'm actually more surprised about that. Um, really thought the Golbat was gonna come in. I really needed two hits on the Golbat to be able to pull that off. Alright, I go for a Veil, it goes for knockoff, why? Beats me. Why would you do that? Alright, I go for Ice Crash then. I have no idea what you're trying to do, but I take it. That worked. I actually wanted this thing KO'd, but okay. Oh, he forfeited. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. I I'm sorry about that short game. I actually wanted to showcase what it's all about. We don't got too much Beatic action, but you sure as hell saw that that Beatic is something else if you do that right. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll probably, if you want the teams, I'll probably push them down below if you're going to try them yourself. And, uh, yeah, sorry about the first game there. Really stolly game, but as you guys saw... Defensively, this team works well if the matchup are allowing it to when it comes to defensive response, and I think it worked. I like this. I like this team a lot. So anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next ladder. And I should say, we are actually 1,230 on the ladder right now, so we're still lower ladder, but I think we're doing fine. We haven't lost... Oh, I think we lost two games for this ladder session as a whole, which is not a lot. Uh, actually, I've lied before. Let's actually look where I am on the ladder. Um... Let's see if you guys are seeing this. No, you're not. Um, 
I could tell you guys this. We have uh, in uh, the regular NU. Oh yeah, it's it's the one that is no official ladder. That's the wrong. Yen seven NU. Where are you? There we go. Eleven wins and three losses. Hope you guys are are um, are seeing anything there. Dear Lord, that was works well there. No, you know what? We'll do. I do you guys fair. I'll I'll show you guys exactly where I am. I just think about a few minutes to use here. So let's see. Um, add add screen capture and. Uh, Okay, he does not want to work with me at all. Um, oh, you're kidding me. It locked. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hold on, guys. There we go. Let's see, shut her down. Let's see if I got a good picture here. Uh, I did not. I was trying to be so cool, yet I failed. Uh, but yeah, I think you guys can see where I am on the ladder there. No, you cannot. You cannot. Okay, this this part really sucked. I'm really sorry about this. Um, I'll see if I can actually edit this out. If I don't, it is because I am lazy. And that would not be the first time. Let's see, we're gonna try another time. Screen capture. And it's dying. Damn, I had no idea my computer hated this so much. I wish it told me. Let's see, if we're gonna go like that, now you guys can see me in a ladder. So, as you guys can see, on the um, NU regular one, we have 11 wins and 3 losses. Though the beta part is a lot more fun. Um, actually, in RU, I'm still very high. <laughs> I haven't played RU since uh, May, I do believe. No, June. Since June. So I should probably get back on that, but I'm fairly high on that ladder for playing very little. The PU Alpha was standing out a lot there. Wow. Who knows, I might actually get back to that. Anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video without this bad editing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye guys.